Hi, I'm Scott McTavish from Accuus Inc. Uh, out of British Columbia, Canada. Uh, we're a commercial UAV surveying company uh, that have been in operations for four years and uh, have now spread out into numerous <laughs> locations across Canada. All right, tell us a little bit about uh, how you got into this and where you see this going in the next uh, three to ten year period, would right. you say? Uh, a co-worker of mine at a uh, forestry consulting company where I used to work uh, saw an ad in a forestry magazine for a UAV for doing aerial mapping uh, or aerial pictures uh, for agriculture. So uh, my background is GIS. Uh, right away I saw the potential with it. Uh, uh, myself and a few other people got together. Uh, we formed the company uh, in, the, in the fall of 07 and uh, got our first UAV and spent a considerable amount of time uh, trying to get this working. Uh, creating ortho photos was the first stage. Okay, and where do you see uh, this evolving over the next few years? The way it's been changing, uh, we're uh, three, four years later now, where we are producing 3D models, uh, digital train models that are the equivalent of a LiDAR survey uh, in the sensor technology, how it is changing uh, rapidly uh, over the last two years especially. Prices have come down, it's becoming miniaturized for small UAV work, uh, and government regulators are becoming a little more aware of this and allowing it in national airspaces in various countries such as Canada. Um, I, I see this as a, just as GPS changed things, I, I see this as a, uh, another tool for doing surveying uh, for small to medium sized areas, site specific areas. What needs to happen for this to become commonplace in the United States? Uh, well, first off, the regulations have to change. Uh, that will be, uh, we'll see what happens over the next few years. Uh, it looks like there will be um, commercial UAV flights allowed uh, in a few years. Uh, but it does have to be, uh, there, there's a public awareness, there's a, a government awareness. Uh, we, we've flown hundreds of flights, we haven't had any incidences. I think uh, you do have to have regulations about it, obviously. Uh, we can't just let everyone go off with a, with a UAV and start flying. Um, there do have to be rules in place uh, and ways to monitor this. But if done properly, uh, it is an alternative to doing aerial mapping and in a, less, a lot safer manner. Uh, there is, there's no humans on board. And these are small UAVs. They're not big, heavy uh, planes flying out. These are very small in a controlled manner business opportunity for those in the surveying profession? Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, I, I think uh, any professional surveyor, uh, remote sensing photogrammetrist who um, uh, makes their profession uh, in mining, uh, agriculture, uh, landfills, uh, uh, quarries, uh, you name it, there's hundreds of applications where surveying is needed. This, this gets you similar results as what you can get with a RTK system, uh, but a obviously a larger area to cover in a safer manner and a, and a faster turnaround.